Imagine a world where we can all play our favorite games together. A world where no matter what platform we use for gaming, be it PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or the Switch, we could all group up and play whatever game we want. Well, with how things are going, that future could very much be a thing. Maybe. Please let this be a thing. What's going on, fellow gamers? It's your boy, the Black Macedonchi, and today I'm here to discuss the possible future of cross-platform gaming and why I am so hyped for it. So up until last year, the future of cross-play was looking pretty weak. Microsoft was hella down for the idea and hit up all the other console manufacturers to see if they were with it. Nintendo was also for it and joined Microsoft in allowing both Rocket League and Fortnite to be played by users on the PC, Switch, and Xbox. Hell, even the mobile side of gaming was for crossplay. Mobile users joined the players from all the other platforms in the Fortnite party. But you know who wasn't down for the crossplay movement? Sony. Sony saw that the PCs, Switches, smartphones, and Xboxes were having a great time in the sandbox together. But they were like, nah, we good. I mean, yeah, Sony previously had crossplay titles with the PC, but whenever other consoles got into the mix, they dipped. Well, luckily for us, Sony is done being the lone wolf in the gaming playground. During the end of 2018, Sony officially gave cross-platforming a try by finally joining the Fortnite party with all the other platforms that allow you to play Fortnite. And they recently allowed cross-play for Rocket League players on Xbox, Switch, and PC. So thanks to the power of Fortnite and Rocket League, cross-play with all the main gaming platforms is now officially a thing. And that achievement opens the door to infinite possibilities. The development of crossplay will give users more freedom in choosing what console they will devote their time to. This is because choosing a console because of its community will not be as much of a factor. Like, for example, I love fighting games. They're my bread and butter. But the thing about fighting games nowadays is that your experience can get dull quick if the community is lacking. So since the PS4 has a more thriving fighting game community, I have to purchase the majority of my fighting games that are not exclusives on my PS4. Now there is nothing wrong with that, but the problem occurs when I have a bunch of friends that have the same fighting game for the Xbox or PC. How am I gonna show them these hands when we can't duke it out on the same network? I just wanna body all my Xbox and PC friends. That's all I want, man. Crossplay can turn that dream into a reality. Instead of having to go over to my friend's place and complain about the Xbox controller being different from my PS4 controller, I can just go online and play with my friends without any issues. Dope, right? In my opinion, crossplay could greatly increase the size of communities for certain video games. It could also give the game developers more incentive to release a game for multiple platforms. I mean, yeah, there will still be exclusives, but the games that are not exclusive will have a much larger community than they originally had. Overall, implementing crossplay can do wonders for the gaming community. If you need an example, just look at Minecraft. That game is still one of the best-selling games of all time, and crossplay definitely aided in its growth. However, as dope as this may all seem, Crossplay does not come without its issues. For one, the console manufacturers would have to figure out an alternative way to allow us to save data on our online games. They would have to implement a way that allows us to log into an account that is held by the actual game developer, or allow us to link our console accounts with the accounts that are tied to the game developer. Kind of like how Injustice 2 requires you to link your WB Play account with your Xbox or PSN account. They could continue using the Fortnite strategy where the user has to sign into his or her Epic account, but requiring the user to log into a different account for each game they play could get tedious. And allowing cross-platform play is not just up to the manufacturers of the consoles. These companies would have to negotiate with the game developers for each game that they want to allow crossplay on. You also have to think about the performance issues that could come from crossplay. We all know that if you're playing a game on a good PC, you are getting the best experience. You gain access to higher FPS and just better overall performance. The difference in performance could become a problem when you're playing against someone on a Switch, which does not have access to all the power you gain from a PC. The person playing on the PC may do better than someone playing on a Switch, solely because the experience is much smoother on a PC. I'm not saying that PC players are not skilled, but having a smoother gameplay experience does make things a lot easier. 
So while the idea of using a PC or Switch to play against your friends on PS4 may sound cool, it's not an easy process and it could get complicated. That being said, I wouldn't expect a random surge in cross-platform titles just yet. I'm sure we're going to get there, but this seems like it's going to be a slow process. But how do you guys feel about this? Are you ready for cross-platform play to become a thing and can't wait to body all those gamers that complain about their controller being the problem? Or would you rather keep the network separate? Maybe it's better to just have platform-specific networks so you don't have to worry about complications. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and game on.